call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith will My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine Your grace abounds in deepest waters your sovereign hand will be my guide where feet may fail and fear surrounds me you've never failed and you won't start now Keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine
Welcome, everyone. Yeah, most of the week I, I wasn't really sure what my show was going to be about today. Um, but I had this feeling that the spirit was going to bring it in close to the time. And yeah, in the last few days, I just feel like I've had all of these miracles with music. So again, the theme of my show is music. Um, I feel like the spirit's telling me something with that because the name of my song, my the name of my show is The Song of Prayer. And the last show was on music as well. Um, but yeah, just, I, I, I'd love to share just an experience I had on Friday evening. Um, David called us all together in the community. <sighs> I thought I'd get a little further. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just touched by that song as well that we sang. So, um, But yeah, David um, wanted to show the Hillsong movie, Let Hope Rise. And um, so we all came together for it. And I just had this really profound experience. I was like sitting right up at the front, really close to David. And just um, for anyone who doesn't know Hillsong, they're an Australian Christian band that... Um, travel all around the world just singing these beautiful devotional songs um, and they fill auditoriums with thousands of people and you can just you can just feel the presence the presence of them on stage and everybody in the audience there's everybody just wants to feel that connection with God and um, yeah I've seen this movie before but um, this time it felt like I experienced it on a much deeper level could just feel that um, all of the all of the singers and musicians, you know, when they got on stage, there was just this um, presence radiating through them. Because the whole purpose of it was just to um, feel that, um, yeah, feel the presence of Jesus in their hearts and just extend that for themselves and for everyone. And um, I was really moved by the the female singer in it i think her name is um Taya. and just when she would be interviewed and she would speak about um about what it's all about for her there was just such a humbleness and she just said <sighs> she just said i love jesus <laughs> And I want to sing, and I want Jesus to use me. <laughs> and so when she was on stage just singing these really powerful songs, I just had this experience that I was her. And um, it was like what was coming through was not of this world. It wasn't a person singing. It was a message. And um, something just opened up in me, this, this huge feeling of inspiration and expansion and magnitude that should be kind of hard to to put it into words but it just felt like this yeah all I can say was it was huge something was huge and um it was like I felt in that moment like I it was like I got in touch with why I was here like there was meaning. And then, and then I could see the thought that came in was, that's, like, can I ask for that? Like, it feels like it's too much. Like, can I really ask for that? And, it, and it's not asking for the form. It's not about 
standing in front of thousands of people and singing that's not it it was the experience that I was asking for like whatever that was that was just bursting through felt like it wasn't of this world and when I could see with that thought can I ask for that that um it's like something um came in and just like pushed that feeling down like pushed that inspiration down and I and I saw that wow I, I'm that must be what's blocking me like that thought that I that's too much I'm I, I'm not worthy to ask for that and and in that I actually don't even know what my inspiration is I I uh, I lose touch of it and so it was really beautiful because at the end of the movie I am um, I just shared all of this with David and when I said and I really asked for that. I just felt like Jesus was coming through him and he just looked me in the eye and he said, this is your calling. This is why you're here. And I felt like that was Jesus or the spirit giving me permission to say, I, I, can, I can go for this. Like I have permission. I don't have to keep pushing it away. So it just felt like a really deep experience for me and and I felt like the whole room was in that vibe like the whole room was just supporting what David was saying energetically and and then we started talking about um, a, a music tour that we're actually going to be doing um, myself Jason Jeffrey Suzanne and Netta Boyne who was on my last show and we've been talking about this a little bit for the last few weeks but in the last day or two it's just all the signs and symbols are coming in that yes, this is the this is what the spirit wants. Like it's like music is just all around. Netta has just finished her album. It's like Jesus wants to her to go out and just share these beautiful songs that she's written. They're 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 to bless everyone. And then whatever this is that I feel is being activated in me, I feel that there's something that wants to come through. And um, it's like Jesus is saying, I want to give you a tour. <laughs> Like, I want you to see that, that this is me and um, you can't ignore this anymore. And, and everybody was just celebrating in that. And, and um, when we came home that night, we were talking about it more. And then the next morning, and it was like all of this inspiration was coming in, you know, ideas of um, maybe doing two big concerts. Um, yeah, just... It just felt like everybody, it wasn't, it wasn't personal. Like everybody was in the inspiration. Everybody was being activated at the same time, regardless of what part of the world they were in. We had a call with Annette. She didn't know any of this was going on. And, and she said, you know, I had a thought the other day, like, are we really supposed to do this tour? And then I just decided that um, I was, I was going to say yes. And I was going to trust. And it was literally at that moment that all of this stuff was happening with the movie um, when we were watching the movie over here. And so when we called her, she was like, you know, so on board and she's like, I'm so excited. And we were just all celebrating this. And yeah. So yeah, it just feels like there's been so many miracles over the past few days and um and the spirits behind it all and it's like waiting to see what the spirit is presenting and just saying yes to it it's like you know just going on a music tour or singing or anything you know if it's if it's not for the purpose of forgiveness and healing it really means nothing but when you just see that the spirit is under it you know that it is something so much bigger than you can even imagine it's not even about what you think it is it's like, and I, I just feel like this, it's just this magnitude and this feeling of something so huge in, in all of this is in my mind and it can just feel like it's nearly breathtaking. Like, yeah, I just want to go with it. So with that in mind, maybe I could share some of the details and yeah, what it's going to look like. And, and yeah, the idea is that the tour is going to be in the west coast in america um in july and uh the window 
is going to be somewhere in between the 5th of July and the 23rd of July. And we'll extend it right till the 23rd if it feels there's a call. But part of the inspiration of just even sharing this on the show is that, um, yeah, like we've just been sharing all our ideas of what, what feels exciting. Like there was an idea that we would, well, we are going to start it in LA and we're going to, uh, I'm going to finish it in San Francisco. So we're going to drive from LA to San Francisco and maybe have a, a big concert in LA to start off with. And then another big concert um, in San Francisco to finish it off. Like we felt like like an open air concert um, that wouldn't necessarily be just for Course in Miracles students. Like it's this music, it transcends, transcends teachings. It's like about an experience. So um yeah, that just felt, feels really exciting. And, and if any of you feel a spark, you know, to join with us, whether it's just to meet for coffee or to um, uh, host us or organize a gathering, it's like our joy is just to connect with everyone and, um, and to be with you. So, um, yeah, I just want to put that invitation out and and even just hearing your feedback you know if there's an inspiration it makes it clear what the spirit's plan is so if you're interested you can email me at emily at livingmiracles.org and just share if you if you want to meet up or if you have any ideas so yeah it feels it feels really beautiful I'm just kind of losing track of time and everything. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're good. I actually had um, a little section from the course that I read this morning that really felt like it was speaking to the experience that I was just talking about on Friday. And about, yeah, just the spirit wants to offer, offer us so much and to step out of this littleness and into into our magnitude and the section is from littleness versus magnitude. Be not content with littleness. Littleness is the offering you give yourself. You offer this in place of magnitude and you accept it. There is a deep responsibility you owe yourself and one you must learn to remember all the time. The lesson may seem hard at first, but you will learn to love it when you realize that it is true and it is but a tribute to your power. You who have sought and found littleness, remember this. Every decision you make stems from what you think you are and represents the value that you put upon yourself. Believe the little can content you And by limiting yourself, you will not be satisfied. For your function is not little. It is is only in finding your function and fulfilling it that you can escape from littleness. There is no doubt about what your function is, for the Holy Spirit knows what it is. There is no doubt about your magnitude, for it reaches you through him from magnitude. You do not have to strive for it because you have it. All your striving must be directed against littleness for it does require vigilance to protect your magnitude in this world. To hold your magnitude in perfect awareness in a world of littleness is a task the little cannot undertake. Yet it is asked of you in tribute of your magnitude and not your littleness. Nor is it asked of you alone. The power of God will support every effort you make on behalf of his dear son. Search for the little and you deny yourself this power. God is not willing that his son be content with less than everything, for he is not content without his son and his son cannot be content with less than his father has given him. And I just feel that that section really speaks to that experience I had on Friday where I felt that it was only in me being able to ask for what, 
for what God wants to give that I could get in touch with that inspiration. And the moment I thought, no, that's too much, it all, yeah, it all just went out of my awareness. So. Yeah, and there's another song that I feel I would love to sing just to finish off the show. And it's um, called Nella Fantasia. And um, the, the music originally came from the movie The Mission and then words were put to it and um, you know, it's a song. And I feel like this song really touches me on a deep level. And um, the reason being, because I, I feel there's a beautiful message in it. Because as I shared on, on my last show, like I've sung a lot of opera music and um, a lot of classical music. But now, for me, I, I feel that, you know, unless there's a message underneath it, it doesn't mean anything. It's like with everything that we do throughout our day, the question needs to be, what is it for? And it can't be about just a beautiful tune or a, a nice voice. There has to be a message that the Spirit wants to communicate. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this song really touches me, and I felt before I sing it, because the song is in Italian, I could just actually sing, um, I could just read the words in English, the English translation, just to share the heart of it. In my happy dream, I see a kind world. Everyone lives in peace and honesty here. All are free, like clouds that fly, full of kindness in the depths of the one soul. In my happy dream, I see a kind world. Even the night is full of wonder. All are free, like clouds that fly. In my happy dream, I see a kind world that breathes on the cities like a friend. All are free like clouds that fly, full of kindness in the depths of one's soul. So yeah, I, I'd like to sing you that song that I can feel emotion coming up already. <laughs> So I'm going to try and get through it and see what happens. <laughs> it's in the spirit's hands.
Hey, thank you, everyone. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity for me to be able to even get in touch with this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 